Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabati fillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exalts the mention of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam throughout the Qur'an and orders us to exalt the mention of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to follow his sunnah salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi and to love him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَالْمَلَائِكَتُهُ يُسَلُّونَ عَلَى نَبِيهِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتاب الكريم Allah exalts the mention of his messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم and his angels supplicate him to do so O you who believe supplicate Allah to exalt his mention and to grant him safety and security. And in the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As radiallahu ta'ala anhuma wa an Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As radiallahu ta'ala anhuma anhu sami'a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul man salla alayya salatin sallallahu alayhi biha ashran Ruahu Muslim. In the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he reported, I heard the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, whoever supplicates Allah to exalt my mention, Allah will exalt his mention ten times. And this is collected in Muslim. What we learn from this hadith, ahabatifillah, and from the ayat that we mentioned, al-ayah karimah, from Allah Azza wa Jal, from the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we learn the importance of mentioning and exalting the name of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that to show our love for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and to show our love and obedience to Allah, that we will praise the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and not go beyond the bounds. And that we will exalt his mention by saying, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Or saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or saying salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi. Or all of these types of dua and dhikr. Which are supplications to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to exalt the mention of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is how we can show that we love him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And show that we love Allah azza wa jal. And that we're following his command because he commanded us. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from this Ahabatifillah, we also learn that this is a way of drawing nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will mention you with the malaika, with the angels. So make this dhikr. Supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often to exalt the mention of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is how we can show our love for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because we find that many of the bro our brothers and sisters in Islam, that they go beyond the bounds. Instead of following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they choose to show their love by other means. By uh, making the birthday of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when they don't know the exact date of the birthday of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. However, they choose to celebrate it as a, an Eid, Sinawiya, every year getting together to have parties in the remembrance uh, of the Prophet Wasallam, which this is later Mashroor. This is something we have no uh, text from, not from the Quran, not from the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam. He didn't do this Wasallam, for Jesus Wasallam. Nor did he do this for Moses, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nor did he do this for Ibrahim, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or Dawood, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or any of the prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wa sallam. The prophets, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, didn't celebrate their birthdays. They didn't celebrate their birthdays. Nor did they celebrate the birthdays of the salihin, the righteous. So this is not from the sunnah of the prophets, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
has given us as acts of ibadah, we should follow it. And those things which the Prophet وسلم, came with, then we should follow it. But that which he did not وسلم, come with, we should not follow it. We should not make that a part of ibadah. If it doesn't come from Kitabullah, it doesn't come from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, it doesn't come from the method of the Salaf, then we shouldn't do it. Suffice yourself by saying Sallallahu Alaihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم